We kick starting this bulletin with a big India Today World exclusive, the missing link and the key middleman in the VVRP chopper scam case. Christian Michel has now spoken exclusively to India Today. Now, Michel denied any plans of turning an approver in the scam probe, but added that he's ready to submit crucial documents and proof through the Indian embassy. Michel also denied ever meeting Gandhi family members and claimed that he will soon hire an Indian lawyer and move Indian courts. The Augusta middleman said that he had sued Guido Hashke. Michel was reacting to reports quoting his lawyer, who reportedly said that he's willing to come to India and testify and turn an approver in the case. Let's play out that entire conversation with Christian Michel for you. Uh, your lawyer, Ms. Rosemary, yes. uh, see said that you are willing to come to India and turn an approver. Is that correct? Yes. Willing to come to no, India and turn an approver? That is, no, that is not correct. So, uh, what are you going to do? Well, I tell you, when I've spoken to Ms. Rosemary, she didn't mean that uh, in that way. Her English isn't that great and she was taken out of context. What she was trying to say is that under the right conditions, I would be prepared to give evidence in the embassy in UAE or in India if I get an undertaking that I will not be arrested and be allowed to return having given evidence to prove that there was no wrongdoing that I am aware of. What evidence is, what evidence is Amitabha also? Uh, well, I have um a lot of records about the motivation behind some of the forgeries that were created and I have documentary proof that they're forgeries and that would go a long way to clearing up the issues. These are the sort of proofs I want to bring. So uh, have you uh, communicated with the Indian authority or the Italian authority regarding the same, regarding these evidences that you are talking about? Uh, yes, I have. I have communicated with the Italian authorities about them. Um, I have taken legal action against Mr. Hashki, suing him in Switzerland for um, forgery and giving false evidence in court. Okay. And um, I will be presenting this evidence in India in due course. What about the cases in India? Enforcement Directorate and CBI, both are looking for you. And both are yes. and both, both agencies say they have got enough against you on record. So I, I, I refute that and would very much like the opportunity to expand all of that information with the media and with the uh, the court in uh, in India. Are you willing to file an appeal in an Indian court? I will be doing that. When? When? Ah, well, that's it. I've, I'm hoping to have meetings with my uh, new Indian lawyers within the next week. Okay. One more question. One one more question that everybody, and especially journalists, are interested in. There are documents. There are documents in public domain now in, in, in media, which suggest that your company entered into an agreement with Augusta Westland, and part of the job was to manage Indian media. Everybody wants to know who are the journalists who are getting paid for not doing anything. No, that that's that, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. Uh, my job was to act as a news service. Okay. To supply and follow the media. My okay. job was not to pay, to pay journalists. So, you are not coming okay. to India, you are not coming to turn an approver? Not to know. Certainly not going to turn an approver because there's nothing to approve over. And if I come to India, it will be under an agreed basis between lawyers. And I'm, uh, I'm available for the questioning. Okay, one last question. One last, uh, uh, names of lot of politicians are coming into this case. Uh, from Sonia Gandhi to AP. Who is this AP? Have you ever met AP, this AP that comes up in this, in this document? No, no, haven't ever met him, haven't ever met any of his associates, never met any of Mrs. Gandhi's family's associates, a friend, no one. All right, so the key takeaway from that conversation, Christian Michel making it clear he's not willing to turn approver. He's only willing to hand over evidence to prove his innocence in India. In fact, after seven days of non-stop fire, today could be the most explosive day for the Augusta Westland Choppers. Kevin, we're talking about uh, in Parliament alone, a week after controversy smashed into Parliament, the Modi government has sent out a dire warning to the opposition Congress. Brace yourself for much, much worse. And India today has the Inside track. Take a look. Please listen to me. You are a very honorable member, but I am telling you, this is so at 2 p.m. in Rajya Sabha. Subramanian Swami is expected to drop the first bombshell. The attack will be direct, 
and names will be mentioned. From Sonia Gandhi to Rahul to her close aide Ahmed Patel, India today has learned that the BJP is aware of the eruption that will be triggered once the Gandhis are named, but will still remain on the offensive. 24 hours after Rahul Gandhi avoided cameras declaring he was happy to be targeted today, he is likely to be even more directly under attack. The Congress will be equally aggressive, quoting media reports that could help distance the Gandhis from the scam flames. It's going to be a no holds barred slugfest on Wednesday as the Rajya Sabha debates the Augusta Westland deal. While the government claims that it has new revelations up its sleeve to corner the Congress, the opposition party too is prepared to go aggressive and not just go out there and defend the Gandhis. They are likely to draw a link between former Air Force Chief S.K. Thiagi, the alleged beneficiary in this case, and his association with the think tank Vivekanand Foundation, with which the NSA and the Prime Minister's principal secretary have also been affiliated with. It is amply clear from all this that the BJP and the Congress are loading their ammunition clearly for Wednesday. India Today now tells you about the very specific and organized attack the BJP government has planned with clear missions and targets for its top leaders. BJP's mission Augusta is crystal clear. Subramanian Swami and BJP Chief Amit Shah will focus their attack strengths on Sonia Gandhi and a political advisor Ahmed Patel. A four-person squad will hit out singularly at Rahul Gandhi. Arun Jaitley has been tasked with taking aim at ex-Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, while Defence Minister Parikar and Junior Minister General VK Singh will go after AK Antony, India's National Auditor Shashi Khan Sharma and a range of MOD bureaucrats. The attack plan is ready, the ammo is out, the chopper deal fire is about to explode in the house. With Maha Siddiqui in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Now, as the political slugfest over the Augusta Westland scandal peaks, reacting to BJP MP Kirit Somaya's letter, Rahul Gandhi has said that he's happy to be targeted. This after the BJP alleged that there's a link between the VVIP chopper deal and an aide of the Congress Vice President. Now, in a letter written by BJP MP Kirit Somaya, he's alleged that Kanishka Singh, a political aide of Rahul Gandhi, founded a firm named Imar MGF, which employed Augusta middleman Hashke. The Congress has responded with a strong worded statement claiming that Kanishka Singh or any member of his family never had any stake in MRMGF. The party has asserted that there was never any connection between the party and any Augusta middleman. Will Kanishka Singh will come on record if MRMGF is not his grandfather? His mama, his mummy, Kanishka Singh family is not the major shareholders and beneficiary. Can he deny that Haske is was director of MRMGF joint venture? Can Kanishka Singh and Rahul Gandhi refuse that they were named, this MRMGF were named in CWG scam? Now Haske is also found and nailed down by Italian court in helicopter scam. Not only there, I would like to go one step further. Rahul Gandhi, Gandhi family is also beneficiary. Let Gandhi family disclose what property transaction they had with MGF. Kanishka ke Rishidhar ke company hai. और उसमें जो जो जिन लोग मिडलमैन जाने जाने जाते हैं और उनके जो वकील हैं गौतम कैतान ये सब डायरेक्टर बने हैं तो ये अब क्यों इस कंपनी में गए और कनिष्का का रिश्ता राहुल गांधी के साथ एक बहुआयाम रिश्ता है और इसीलिए वो इन्हें साधारण बात नहीं हो सकती है कम से कम हमें तो जांच करनी है खास तौर पर देखना है कि उस कंपनी में पैसा अंदर कैसा गया बाहर निकला क्या किधर गया ये सब मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग की एक फैक्ट बनती है 
And on the probe front, even as former Air Chief Marshal S.P. Tyagi is facing heat over allegations in the Augusta Westlands camp, another former Air Force Chief's name has cropped up in relation to the case. Now, top government sources have told India today that the role of former Air Chief uh, N.A.K. Brownie's name is also under the scanner in Augusta Westland case. Now, Brown served as the Deputy Air Chief when the deal was struck. Investigators are also saying, are also said to be probing the role of some other Air Force officials in the case. Now, the CBI will also continue to question SP Tyagi today, this after a marathon nine-hour grilling session just yesterday. After sustained examination and confrontation with hard evidence, SP Tyagi accepted meeting officials of Finn Mechanica. He was confronted with the visitor's diary as well as registers. Tyagi met Finn Mechanica COO in the 15th February of 2015, just a month before the decision to change helicopter altitude requirement was taken. CBI is now traveling to find out details about his international travel after retirement.